Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will see how to create and connect to a Microsoft SQL Server database in AWS. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. So now we'll enter the RDS console in this search box, find services, click on RDS. Click on here. Now out of all these options you see here, click on create database. When you come to create database, click on standard create option here and select Microsoft SQL Server from this option. We will make sure that we will create a Microsoft SQL Server DB instance with DB T2 micro DB instance class, 20 gigs of storage and automated backups enabled with a retention period of one day. Uh, just to make sure that this all will be free tier available and make sure that you select the correct region. I am going on with the default region that is Northern Virginia. I'm not changing the region. Just to make sure that AWS cloud resources are housed in highly available data centers, facilities in different areas of the world. Each region contains multiple distinct locations called availability zones. You have the ability to choose which region to host your Amazon RDS in. Now, when you will click on create database, you have the SQL server select option. Now, if you'll scroll down, we will select, hold on. It is not giving me an option to select the, enable the options which are only eligible for a free tier instance. Let me go with the version here. I'll go for 14 version, SQL Server 2017, 14. Let's go with this. License is included. Let's go with free tier. This is the database uh, I, instance identifier. You can name it whatever you want. I will name it MySQL test. And then in the master username, admin leave it admin so and you can keep the master password as you want confirm the password db instance size one gigs ram storage class 20 gigs enable storage auto scaling default to vpc additional connectivity configuration you can either keep it in default VPC, you can either keep it in your custom defined VPC and security groups. I am marking yes as the publicly accessible for this lab. You can use choose existing security group going with default availability zone. You can select as you want. I'm going with no preferences. Default port is 1433. Microsoft SQL Server authentication. I'm going with none. If you will click on here, it's creating its default parameter group. Time zone is no preference. You can select the time zone as UDC. Collation, enable automatic backups. Retention is seven days. You can make it for one day here. Backup window is no preference leave it as it is you can uh, enable the enhanced monitoring while checking this box i'm not doing it i don't want to go with maintenance windows click on create database okay hold on let me check create database it is creating the database now you see it is creating it let me pause the video and come back when it is done and to connect to the database that we will just uh, configure, download the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio Express, install it on your machine, and uh, we will use this to connect to our RDS instance in AWS. Okay, when your database is created like this, just uh, copy paste the endpoint name and uh, check every other setting and make sure that you go into the security group and uh, open port 1433 for the incoming section i have opened it from my ip you can open it for your network range then uh, pull up your uh, 
SQL Server Management Studio and connect to database. Copy paste the server name here, type in the username and password. I'm selecting SQL Server Authentication. Click on connect. And within a few seconds, here we are. We have these database instances, security, server objects. So here you are. That is how you create and uh, connect to the SQL Server. Till next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.